Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing another brand new episode from my Minecraft 1.8 single player survival series. And in this episode, we're going to be doing some more work on the house that we started last time. And as you can see, I've changed the house up just a little bit. There's a couple things that I didn't really like about it. So, what we did, previously we had a little area over here that kind of came out this way. And I, I basically switched that so that it would match up with the curved window on that side. I don't know if I want to do a curved window over here, but I'm thinking over there we'll do a curved window, and here we'll just have a uh, more of a rectangular room. I also repositioned the windows so that they're all symmetrical on both sides. And what we're going to do first is we're going to redo the walls on the inside, at least to some extent, so that they match up with where the windows are ultimately going to go. So I think the staircase we're going to leave right where it is. I think that's fine. But the walls that are coming out, I want to put them kind of like this, I think. And I'm also kind of thinking that maybe we'll bring this bit like this. So we'll have kind of an open room here we could even just leave this the way it is i don't know we'll we'll work on that but then what we're going to do is i really don't want any windows that are directly up against a wall so i think we'll kind of bring this out like so and then we'll do the same over here and i just realized that i forgot some stone bricks let me see if i have any in this chest over here real quick Oh yeah, we got plenty of uh, plenty of smooth stone, so we're good. Okay, so then what we're going to do, we've got this wall in place. We're going to reposition these walls as well. In fact, I think we're just going to basically relay out this entire little portion of the house so that it matches up the way that I want it to. I'm thinking... Hmm. I'm thinking we want a room here. This torch can just go out of the way. And we want this to kind of come out like so. I don't think I want necessarily like a giant hallway here. But we could do something like this. And then have a room kind of over here. I've kind of decided on a on a style that I want to go for in this house. And I'm thinking this will work nicely. Well, you know what we could even do? Is we could bring this all the way over like that. So that we basically have several larger rooms that kind of come out to over here. Yeah, actually that... I. I kind of like that. I really do. I, th I think that'll work nicely. And our staircase will leave, I'm thinking, three wide that will go up to the upstairs. So this will work out pretty well. I think that'll do quite nicely for a house layout. The windows are still going to go where these dirt blocks are. Those are just there temporarily to kind of show where I wanted to put the windows. But the next thing that I want to do is I want to start working on the deck a little bit. The deck that's going to kind of come out over here. So, let's grab ourselves... I don't think we really need anything that we don't already have a bunch of. So I think we'll be okay. I should probably grab some cobblestone walls now that I think about it. I'll probably want a few of those. But basically, I want to have a deck on this side that's going to come out to maybe about here or so and kind of overlook the uh, the valley. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards doing. So, I've also decided that I think I want to have the floors in here be primarily oak. And that will work out quite nicely. So right here what we'll do is... Let's make a quick crafting table just so I don't have to run over there anymore. I'll just put it like right there. 
Let's make ourselves some oak stairs. And we're going to kind of put those as inverted stairs right along this edge of the house. And they're going to go all the way along the edge, or along this side at least, of the house. So I think that'll work out pretty well. And I think we'll have just enough. Yep, looks like we'll have just enough. This tree, I notice, is very, very much in the way of where we need to be building. So this thing needs to go. Let's get rid of this. There we go. Now, the next thing that we want to do is I want to extend the deck a bit. And for that, we can just use oak planks. That will work out fine. So let's make some of those. And we'll just basically do the same thing. We're just going to kind of extend this out maybe like two, I think. Something like that. That should work. And we'll just kind of bring it out this way a bit. Like so. There we go. Now, we want to have some sort of supports. So we don't want just a deck that hangs off on its own doing nothing. So, I'm thinking this fourth level will be the very edge. And I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll take ourselves some oak logs. I'm thinking those well, those should work. I think we can use oak logs. And what we need to do is figure out, here's one. And we're just going to build those up like this to right here. Let's even go one more. Let's do that. I think we're going to need more oak logs than what I have on me at the moment, but that's fine. That's not a big deal. And then we'll put the next one right here. Like so. And we'll definitely want one right here in the middle of the house, because this, this line right here is the direct middle of the house. So let's put one right here. And then we got to figure out where the middle of the rest of this goes. So, maybe what we'll do is we'll just put one in the middle of each of these window spots, because that should be exactly where they need to be. I think that will work out perfectly. So, we'll just go like that, and like that. And then the same right here. And one. Oop. Oh. I fell. Well, that's all right. We can go. Let's see. This would be a window space. And it should go right here, I believe. Yep. Perfect. That works out perfectly. We do, however, need a little bit more oak wood than what we have. Let's see if we have any in the chest real quick. Not really. But there's an oak tree over here. We only need, like, two more oak logs. So let's just chop down this oak tree here quick. We don't need much. Just a little bit. There we go. That'll do nicely. And then we can finish off that little portion of the deck. So we'll just kind of bring that up right there. Beautiful. Next, back to the oak planks, or the uh, oak half slabs, I should say. We'll bring these around like so. Just to kind of give this feeling that the deck is a little bit bigger than it actually is going to be. Because we're going to have fences that go along right here. Then on top of these, and in fact, I'm almost tempted to do it. 
Now, let's put them on top like this. In fact, we could actually do all the supports with these cobblestone fences. That would actually look pretty cool. Maybe we'll do that. I like it. Yeah, I actually like that quite a lot. And we'll go here. Maybe let's go like three high with each of these. I'm thinking that's about where we want to be. Just like this. Now we need to figure out what type of wood we want to use for the fences here. I think the best option would probably be spruce, just because it match it would match the walls of the house. However, dark oak might actually look pretty nice too. And it would also contrast a little bit with the house as well. So, let's do this. Let's head over here. Let's make ourselves a quick chest. We'll get rid of this and put a chest there so we can put all this stuff away. I've got so much random junk just lying around. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment a little bit between spruce and dark oak and see what I like better. And I'll be right back in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the dark oak. I like the way that the dark oak fences look. So I think we're going to go with that. So we'll just lay those all along this edge right here. And that gives us our nice little deck area that we can kind of look out over the uh, the water or the river, whatever you want to call it. The uh, Well, really, it's a swamp. And it's kind of a miserable looking swamp, actually. Not the, not the greatest view in the world, but, you know, I mean, I guess you got to make do with what you got. Let's head over here and take a look at it from a distance. That actually looks pretty good. I think that is going to look really nice when the house is all finished up. I'm almost tempted to swap out those oak pillars, though, for something else. Hmm... We will, well, I'll think about that later. Let me know what you guys think. Not the, not the whole oak pillar, but I'm thinking of maybe topping them uh, with some andesite or something instead for these very top bits right here. I'm thinking of maybe topping those with like some, some polished andesite blocks or something. I think that might look kind of cool. But let me know what you guys think about that. The last thing that I want to do in this episode is I want to go ahead and I want to start getting the floor put in here. So what we're going to do for that, we're going to cheat just a little bit so that I have enough materials. And we're actually going to use oak slabs instead of oak blocks. And the reason for that is that you really can't tell. There are certain spots where we will basically actually have to put blocks, like if I decide to put in a basement and whatnot, but for the most part, you're not going to be able to tell that the floor is oak slabs. So, let me go ahead and get going on this. I'm just going to do a quick time lapse while I get this all put in, and I will see you in just a second. We've got the floor all filled in here nicely. I'm kind of debating on if I want to put a floor in here. I think I'm actually going to. The reason I wasn't, I was considering not was because I'm going to have a staircase that goes up and covers it all up. 
But I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to put a little uh, a little Harry Potter closet, if you will, underneath it, underneath here, a little cupboard under the stairs, and the entrance to that will be right here. So the staircase will come up and over, but there'll be this little itty bitty closet right in here for storage or for whatever I decide to put in there. Let's go ahead and torch the area up a little bit just so we don't have creepers and things spawning in here. Nobody wants that. And that should about do it. I think we'll probably put some on the deck as well. And I'm all out of torches, but that's easily fixed. But I think that's about all the time that we have for this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. <laughs> oh, the, dis the discoloration! <laughs> Wifey, it's not the same color, and they can jump over where the... Uh, Torches are, I think. Maybe. Whatever. You know what? It's already like world's derpiest house. We're just gonna we're just gonna